hello you are welcome how to solve this nice olympiad problem from here we can rewrite this as 10 raised to power 3x minus 10 raised to power 2x then we take 10 raised to power x here also become minus 10 raised to power x then equals to zero then in the next step we can separate this 10 raised to power 3x and this will become 10 raised to power 2x plus x 2x plus x that will give us 3x and also from here we have minus 10 raised to power 2x can be written as x plus x then minus 10 raised to power x equals to 0 now from the law of indices we can rewrite this and uh, it will be 10 raised to power 2x times 10 raised to power x also here we have minus 10 raised to power x times 10 raised to power x minus 10 raised to power x equals to 0 and from here we have 10 raised to power x common here we can take it out so this will become 10 raised to power x then what we have left here is 10 raised to power 2x then minus here we have 10 raised to power x left then we have minus 1 which is equals to 0 then we have two possible cases here we have 10 raised to power x equals to 0 and or we have 10 raised to power 2x minus 10 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 0 from here, when we take the log on both sides, we have log 10 raised to power x equals to log 0. And log 0 is undefined. So log 0 is undefined, therefore there is no solution on this side. Then on this side, we can rewrite this and say this will be 10 raised to power x, 10 raised to power 2. From the law of indices, since this power multiply, we can separate it. And then we have minus 10 raised to power x minus 1 equals to 0 and from here we have 10 raised to power x common so we can use a letter to represent that so let y be equals to 10 raised to power x then we can write the equation and this will become y squared minus y minus 1 equals to 0 then we can solve this quadratic equation using formula method and there uh, we have y equals to minus b b here is minus one that's minus minus one plus or minus square root of b square minus one square then minus four a is one then c is minus one then over two a two times one and from there we solve this and this will be y equals to plus 1 that's 1 plus or minus square root of 1 minus times minus that's plus plus 4 over 2 so this will give us y equals to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 so we have two possible values of y we have y equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 or we have y equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 and the value of y we represented that as 10 raised to power x so we can say that 10 raised to power x here 10 raised to power x is equals to 1 plus root 5 over 2 and also on this side 10 raised to power x equals to 1 minus root 5 over 2 here, 10 raised to power x will be positive, and here we have negative as the you know, value of this. Therefore, this here we don't have a solution here. Then on this side, we can take the log on both sides. So we have log 10 raised to power x equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. Then by the time we apply the power law of log reading, this will become x log 10 equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. 
Then log 10 is 1. So we can say x tends 1. That's t x. And uh, from here, we can conclude that x will then be equals to. So from here, we say x now equals to log 1 plus root 5 over 2. And here we have the value of x in this problem. We can also put it in decimal and put it in the equation to test if this solution will satisfy the problem. You can please do that to confirm if the solution satisfies the problem given. Thank you for watching. Please share these videos and also give it thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Bye and see you in the next class.